in a spire. Um, we are definitely going to be doing Energy Dude again. Um, he's just so good. I like the Poison Lady, but she does not have enough health for me. And Strength uh, Guy is pretty good too. Starting really uh, each of the starting combat game. Yeah, that's really good. Take three random options. Let's do that. Strength, more or less, and block. Okay, could be good. Um, so let's do. I feel like this route is gonna be really good. So I go there, there. There, 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 there. Oh yeah, that's a great round. Okay, let's do that. I forgot they changed the color of the cards each time. Yo, lightning dude, so good. I will say though, like, Lady. She has like pretty good. I don't want to say that so she gets extra block. The mage lady, she has some good cards. Like that one card that doubles the effect of the next card that's played. That is pretty OP. Um, especially when you consider like the fact that, um, like with that move. I mean, also with the duplication potion, that's like another thing. Use a duplication potion. Okay, she's dead. Bam. Take no damage. We are good. When you die, when you would die, heal 30% of your max health instead. Wow. Um, I don't really care about strength. Okay, we're saving that. Not for this common boss fight, but the uh, level 2 boss fight. Yes. Gain two orb slots. I am all about that card. Okay, good. It did damage to that one. I'm gonna try to save as much of my health as possible. Uh, uh, because I want to be able to upgrade a lot of my cards at the bonfires instead of resting at them this time. So I feel like that's really gonna help. Whenever you would play a power card, channel one lightning. That is great. Let's get that. I mean, you really don't need max HP plus five. Let's definitely get that. That's so good. I'm all about some max HP. Find some potions. Block. Choose a card in your discard pile. Return to your hand. It costs zero this turn. Choose one of three random colorless cards. Discard that, and then play the top three cards of your draw pile. I mean, that sounds like it'd be pretty good too. You just get to play them. Yeah, let's grab that. Do we need this block card? I don't think we need that. Oh no! I did the wrong one. We're gonna hit a uh, an epic fight. Oh gosh! Oh no! This is not good. Like the wrong one. Wow! At the start of your turn, add a random comic card. That's a power. Anything that's a power card, I'm all in favor for. Evoke your next. Or channel the orb that was just evoked. That could be helpful. Do three damage and apply one vulnerability. Did a 
card removal service and got rid of this. I hate that card. I never use dual cast. Oh. oh gosh. Or at least we'll get to. I mean, the good thing is, is I don't think that we're gonna have a really hard time um, with that. So innate at the start. Oh, so you get to play that your first one. That would be pretty good. What's this one do? You also play that when you play power card. I think I'd rather have this, honestly. It, you start off and you get to play that and every time you play a power card, um, you gain an extra. Channel one lightning. Oh, and that just costs zero. No, let's do this. I think that's gonna come in handy long term. All right, here we go. First epic. looks like he's a squirt. Gremlin knob. I don't know why, but I always thought that these guys were like way more uh, powerful than they seem to be right now. Oh, I think that just uses itself when you, when you die. Play three top cards in your draw pile. Let's just go ahead and use that. Okay, there we go. That actually was a pretty good like, use of that, being that we accidentally got on this epic. I do not fight these guys at all, although you do get a boss relic from them, so that'll be nice. About some defense here. Try not to die. Yo, that's so good. He's gonna take a crap ton of damage, but we have a bonfire right after this, so. I think it's gonna be fine. I think we got this lightning. It's like the only thing going Yo, is this guy gonna kill us? Yo, what is up with this guy? Alright, he's dead. Start your combat, kill 8, 2 HP. And avoid to your discard pile. Whenever this card is drawn, lose one entry. Heck no. One less energy for each power card played this combat. Gain 12 block. Uh, I feel like that would just be better to have. Rest, obviously. Alright, we're going this route. Oh gosh, there's another mini boss up there. No! This is bad, y'all. This is very bad. It's not a lot, but well, I mean, could potentially get rid of one of these guys this time. Yes, that's what I wanted. There we go. Oh, gosh. 
Yeah, this guy's so good. What other character can you be at this high of a level and, like, not get killed and smashed or take any damage? Like, it just does not happen. Like, I'm so impressed right now. Do four damage for each channeled orb. I mean, that could get really insane, but I feel like what we really need is block. So I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to do a safe card there. And another one. And then I guess in future... Card room just to get to your hand. In the future, we could always use the uh, card removal service to get rid of some of those other block cards that we have. This is a good. This is a good thing to, to have. We could remove a block card. We could transform one of our cards. Like we could transform a block card into something else. Or we could just upgrade a card in our deck. I feel like I'd rather remove, because I feel like we have pretty good cards already. And I'm gonna get rid of that. Save me a hundred, uh, hundred coins right there. Money pouch, hundred gold. It's in our discard pile. Let's, um... Uh... I know we need to conserve as much health as possible because we're going to another epic uh, enemy type. Any enemy fight. Carries the block over. I think it's on this one. Or it could be on the poison lady. Why do we have turbo? Oh, that's one of those random ones. So I kind of didn't put that in my. Uh...
gonna be like hyper uh Might actually make it through this, y'all. But gotta be honest, like, I was a little concerned there for a sec. Let's do that. That'll give us two blocks. Serve that hell is the number one priority right now. You cannot die. Oh, I should have popped capacitor. Joker's dead! Yo, I did not think we were gonna make that. <laughs> Whenever you climb a floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at a shop. Why would you want that?
still have that potion, but I was hoping that I would use that um, in the next level. Cost zero cards from your discard pile into your hand. Wow. First card you play in each turn. turn. I will say, Echo Form is very, very good. Um, Echo Form is very, very good. So I'm gonna, I'm inclined to pick that up. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You no longer see enemy intents. Oh, that would suck. During boss and elite combats, gain energy at the start of your turn. Upon pickup, remove two cards from your deck. That's what we need, yo. Let's get rid of these, like, block cards. We have enough block cards already. Yo, that just saved me, like, $200. 200 gold. Doing that. Um, so I want to go where the most bonfires are. So I'm thinking probably here, 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 here. Bonfire. Here, here. Here, 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 here. Yep, I just gotta make sure I take the right turn this time. This card is in your hand at end of the turn. It is exhausted. Exhausted cards are removed from your deck until the end of combat. Um, what I could do, since I have Mummified Hand, I could play this power card and hope 
that echo form triggers as the zero. A random card in your hand costs zero that turn. the thing about echo form is it I mean it's it's great but also it has its limitations because okay, yeah. it has its limitations because it does cost three and I don't really know like, a card on this guy is sort of like that that allows for cards just to reduce their energy cost other than just upgrade He's gonna get freaking wrecked here. How did that not reduce it though? He received unblocked attack damage. Like three times. That's what I was banking on. What's so cool about this guy is he's very versatile because you can go fully offensive with like lightning. Um, you can go energy uh, efficient with plasma, which plasma is harder to do in the cards. I don't. There might be something where you can gain plasma, but it, it's hard to do because it didn't. You, for every plasma you have, you get additional energy. Or you go full on defensive and just have like a frosty boy. So it must have to be like actual direct attack damage, not passive attack damage. Be dead next turn. For sure. 
up to death. See ya! Get out of here. Oh, block, that could really come in handy. Double your energy exhaust. Whoa, if you played that like... Your first card? Yo, that could be really good. Now. I always think of like crows in like uh, Shit's Creek with their crow movie. Yo. Wait, that wasn't double. That was well worth using that potion for. Sees 50% less attack damage. Cancelled if dealt attack damage three times in one turn. Interesting. Oh, why don't we pop that? That'll kill all of them. Let's see how we do. I may wait to use that until there's something similar. Definitely gonna take some uh, damage here, though. Uh, do I risk it for the biscuit and pop this uh, lightning? I mean, chances are that. Oh, I get to do another one. Okay, perfect. That was a great move. I don't have to do anything. Yeah. Wiping the hands. Game three thorns, that's good. Channel. Dang. That could get real good. Deal three damage. Increase the damage on the wall cards by two this combat. This could be really good too. This could also be really good. So I'll pop that. Like in a hand I haven't used any, I can instantly channel three lightning or more. And a special relic. Or transform two cards. What's a special relic? Is that these things? I have to put echo form on my uh, hand. Not good, yo. Sad. Confusion is annoying. Um, evoke your next orb. any good moves here because I don't want to do that because then that gets rid of uh, one of mine gets rid of my lightning orb 
But it would do eight damage towards it. This guy might kill me. He's he's pretty tough. Gosh. Yeah, I think this guy's gonna kill me. Cause all of the problem is is like all of my cards were like one cost, and so when you like randomly assign them, it uh really messes with your your strategy. That was zero. Could pop that. I'm trying to think of what would be better. Get more orb slots. Not that many three. Not that it matters. It's good. The other ones costed more than. I think doing the the capacitor card was a, a good move. Yeah, Oh, is it exhausted? No, it doesn't. Sneko. I'm that bad boy. Good right there. We wouldn't have to do anything next turn. He's dead. Just with the lightning. I'll kill him though anyway. Just to just to prove a point. Gambler's brew. Discard any of our cards in front of any. I really didn't like that gambler's chip that we have. Dude, six damage for each channel orb. Oh my gosh. That could get really insane. Oh. Okay, this is really good though. Like, I'm inclined to get that. I kind of want to remove one. Oh, what about this though? Start of your second turn. Gain 14 block. Upon pickup, upgrade two random skills. Start each elite combat with two strength. I don't think that would be very helpful. Shuffle to your discard pile, into your draw pile, draw one card. Draw three cards, exhaust. Or capacitor. I feel like I barely use capacitor, so I don't know that that would necessarily be helpful. At the start of your second turn, until next turn prevents damage. Oh, that's just block. Start of your second turn, gain 14 combat. Or 14, 14 block. That would sound pretty good, man. So does it reset every combat? Cause that could be really good. Like just have 14 block. Fortunately I don't have enough to get both. I could get this and then do a card removal. The good thing about this though is like this character just does not have a lot of block on him, but upgrade two random skills, that could also be really good. I'm gonna do that. Your next war. Equal the number of cards in discard roll plus three. That's really good. I don't know that I'm like super happy with the result of that, but it works. And then let's remove um, that's one card that I just really do not like. These are all pretty darn good. 
darn good. I do feel like maybe we do have too much block cards. Too many block cards. I also haven't used this yet. Um, just because there hasn't been a good opportunity for it. I kind of tempted to get rid of that because, well, I don't know. I think I use this multicast at all though. Because at best, well, if you do evoke, it goes up to like from 3 damage on the lightning to 8. So in theory, if you use that when you had full 3 power or 3 energy, you could do like 32 damage. And that could be pretty good, but then I would not be able to use any other energy that round. Let's get rid of that. I think we need that. Ah! Leave. Let's rest. I think this is a good uh, stopping point. Uh, because it is midnight. I gotta go to bed because I got work in the morning. Uh, but anyway, we will definitely be playing some more of this. I have Seven Days to Die with Adam tomorrow, but I'm pretty sure after that, um, unless work is just crazy, I might even, like, stream this for, like, an hour or so. The good thing about this is, like, the runs don't take very long, so, like, I can just pop in, stream for an hour, and then be done. Um, so that's, like, the good thing about this. Uh, but... Anyway, we will uh, call it a, a stream for tonight, but I will definitely see you guys next time with some more Slay of the Spire. Take care.